Hey everybody, welcome to my channel. Today, we are going to answer a question that is asked very often on my channel. And the question is, can cotton ball be used as a grow medium for hydroponic? So I always want to show you guys an example before I answer the question. So here I have one that is actually grown in a cotton ball. So um, the quick answer to that is uh, yes, you can, but uh, should you? And that is where the tricky uh, the trick comes in. Um, cotton ball that are used for a home, uh, you know, like makeup and stuff like that. Uh, I believe they are treated with bleach and stuff like that to make it nice and white and look like this. So I think that is one of the reasons why many people or most people don't use cotton uh, because of the chemical that 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 they they use to process the cotton. So um, you can use it, but you shouldn't use it. So that's the thing. So um, also cotton, uh, you know, it's like a sponge. It, it takes in so much water and it holds a lot amount of water. So what that does is um, when you put a seed in there and if you allow the cotton to soak up so much water, then the seed could potentially rot. So that's the reason why um, uh, cotton is a little bit tricky to use. So with that out of the way, if you still insisted in using uh, cotton, uh, you know, to grow for fun and not to eat or whatever because of the chemical, then I'm going to show you a fun project you can do, uh, you know, in the winter months or, you know, just something you can do with the kids uh, to grow some plants and uh, use things that uh, you, you find around the house like cotton, uh, plastic um, drink bottles, and this is just a koozie. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and um, go into the process. I'm going to show you how to grow this. I'm going to show you this plant also. This is a uh, French breakfast um, uh, radish. So radish are great to, be, uh, to grow in hydroponic because uh, they're really fun. They grow fast and uh, they look pretty cool okay so let's go ahead and begin okay before we go into the planting process I'm going to show you the plant that I started around 18 days ago this is my um, French breakfast radish and uh, I started it in you see that cotton ball and just a shot glass and then I have my uh, koozie. You can use whatever koozie you have. This is what I have laying around the house. And you're going to need a just a empty plastic bottle. Okay, so this is what we're going to use. So very simple things. Okay, so before we start our seeds, I'm gonna show you uh, how much water a cotton ball can absorb. So I'm gonna drop it in there and show you. You, you see? how much water this cotton ball took up and look how wet this is so if you if you leave it like this and you start your seed in there they're going to rot because there's just so much water in here and also um, this cup here requires multiple cotton ball so if you only put one you see how there's <laughs> it, it's not enough room so we have to use multiple cotton balls so drop these in here. You see that? It soaks up so much water. So this is one of the, the problem with cotton balls. So you really have to kind of squeeze it out. And then leave just enough water, you know, to have uh, for the seeds to, to start. So just something like that and uh that should be good but you know remember don't leave all that water in there because the seeds are just going to not sprout or it will rot because it's just too much water okay we'll just put this here okay so uh, as i mentioned french breakfasts are really fast sprouting plants so um uh, you you, sh you could buy the seeds at like your local home depot or lowe's and stuff like that and those are great uh, variety of uh, of radish to 
to grow because they're really cool and they grow really fast. So let, let me show you what it looks like right now. You see? And I used uh, four cotton balls right there. And it was squished together, but when the radish bulb grows, it pushes it out like that. So that's, that's basically it. And here's my cup right there. So that's, uh, that's basically what we're going to use. So really cute little plant. Okay, so um, use any seed you want. So when you take your seed, what you're going to do is kind of open, open the cotton ball like that. You see? And then close it. And then you use this cup, you just cut out the bottom, you see? Cut a slit right here and then cut around right there. Uh, leaving this little space so that it can hold uh, the, the rock wool or whatever medium you're using and just put it in there like that. And then for, for this, you're going to cut the bottom right here. And then this goes in like that. And the koozie is just to keep light from getting through, uh, you know, into the, the reservoir. Because if, if lights get through, then algae will grow easily. Uh, you can still get, you may get a little bit algae this way. But with, with this helping to block it, then you get less. And then you put it under grow lights. And they will grow, uh, you know, your plants will sprout in 7 to 10 days, maybe sooner. And once they sprout it, uh, you're just going to keep the, the cotton ball, you know, nice and moist so that the plants can grow. And then as it grow and grow, it'll eventually shoot out a root past that cup right there. You, you're going to see the roots. As soon as you see the roots, you, you can feed it hydroponic nutrients. And, uh, you know, the one I use is the AeroGarden Nutrients. Let me show you. And here is the AeroGarden plant food that I use. And uh, when I mix this, all I do is I take 5 milliliter of this into 1 gallon of water. Then I shake the gallon of water up. And that's it. That's it. You don't have to do anything else. And then I pour it into the container. So wherever that net cup right there, you see? Fill the nutrients to that line only. Don't go up here. So only to here. And uh, as the plants uh, grow and grow and grow, it's gonna drink more. So uh, every four to five days, you're gonna have to give it a little bit of nutrients. But if you refill, do not pass this line. And uh, that should be it. And in 18 to 20 days, your radish is going to look like this. So in uh, 25 days or something like that, the, you know, you're going to have a nice sized radish. And as I mentioned, because you're using cotton ball and this could uh, contain uh, like bleach or other chemical in there. So I'm growing this for fun. I'm not eating this. So yeah, there you go, guys. That is how easy it is to, uh, you know, grow a little plant in, in, in hydroponic using some of the simple things that you can find around the house and uh, medium as the cotton ball as the medium and then for grow light if you're interested in grow light let me show you what i'm using a very cheap grow light so um let's go take a look okay so basically um i put the seeds here under my grow light and as you can see i have other things going on right here a pepper plant tomato plant and i'm rooting a sweet potato and here's my grow light. It's very simple, it's just a, a bulb. And um, you know, hook it up to any electrical outlet. And you can put that on, uh, you know, like a PVC pipe, make a stand out of it. And uh, that is it. So uh, a simple grow light like this on Amazon, I think they're like $15. I'll link you so you can take a look. But that's exactly what I did to grow uh, the lettuce plants. Very, very nice and simple. And here I have a tomato that I'm starting right here. You see? 
the same system. Uh, this one I'm using rock wool instead of cotton. But here's our new cotton grow. So uh, there you go. That's a really nice and easy and cheap way to to grow some plants inside and um, have a little fun, um, you know, while you wait for spring to come. It's also, you know, something that can teach you about hydroponic and uh, uh, once you get better, you may move on to other things. So uh, I would recommend you try it out. So that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.